One of the quickest ways of ordering a pizza is by using the basic pizza screen. Before we use the basic pizza screen, you must have already set up our change size buttons, which we just did in the last video. First thing we're going to have to do to set up our basic pizza screen is we're going to go one enter, put in our ID, other functions, system, menu setup, and go down to our change size button, order entry screen, sorry. Once I'm in there, I'm just going to have uh, set my screen edit, which is one, set. All I'm going to have here is a finish button at the very top. We're going to have to add all the rest of our screen functions by right clicking, going main screen functions, and putting whatever I want on the screen. I want to be able to order multiples, so I'm going to go times one, times two, times three. I can put the clear button on. Place on check physically places whatever you rang up onto the check. Then our size buttons. We only have two size. We're going to go size one and size two. Now we can change the names that it shows here by going size one we know is small and go set extended name. And size two we know is medium. And go set extended name. And we can also add other things like we want the price of the order on a check. And we want the finish which is already on it. And if we have multiple screens for our pizza, we can go next screen and last screen, or go to whatever screen they are. Okay, I'm done putting everything on my screen that I want, so I just go finished. Now I can drag these buttons around and just put them wherever I want. Okay, so I want my finished button to be in the top corner. And then I want my times 1, 2, and 3 to be underneath that. And I want those buttons to be the same size as my finish button though, so I can highlight all the buttons on this side. Right click, say grow to largest, and I go finished. And to quickly line these up, I can just highlight just the times 1, 2, and 3 buttons. Right click, say put to grid. And again I can highlight them all and just move them over a little bit to the left of the screen. My clear button, I can put down underneath those. And same with my small and medium. And again, I can put these anywhere I want to. Again, I want them to be the same size as these. Right click, I can say grow to largest, and I can put them to a grid. Okay, and then they're not quite lined up with my times one and time two, so I can select them all again. Go align right. And just drag them over a little bit so that they line up perfectly. Okay, and then all I have left to do is my price my order, which will be a bigger box. So we'll make this large and put it on top. and to place it on the check. We'll put that right here. Okay, make this a little bit smaller here. Okay. Now as you can see I don't have any sales items or anything else that I can put on here yet. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go finished. Then I have to go down to my change size setup which we set up earlier. And on these, as you can see it to ask you which screen to put each one on. So what I'm going to have to do is edit every single one and set them to a screen. So I can go set screen, screen one. Go down to the next one. And just keep doing that. Again, it is a little bit of work to set this up, 
but in the end I think you'll be very happy with it. While I was in here, I also noticed that one of my medium toppings aren't set up for the half pineapple. So I'm going to edit that line and set the equivalence for my half medium pineapple. So half medium, half pineapple. And done. Finished. Finished. Then I can go back into my change size order entry screen. Set screen 1. And all my buttons will be at the very top here. I can just drag them down here. Oops. Right now it doesn't really matter where I'm putting them, as long as they're off the corner here. Okay, as you can see I moved my finish button by accident, so I'll drag that back up here. Okay. Now again I want my pizzas to be at the top and my toppings to be at the bottom. So I'm just going to drag these down a little bit further. Okay, take my pizzas. I'm going to set my grid where I want them. I want them across the top. Right click on one. And I want them to be about 100 by 40. And I'm going to say put to grid. Okay, then I can take them both here. Move them over. About center of the screen. Okay, now the other thing I don't want to do, I don't want it to say small cheese and small deluxe because we don't know what size we're going to be ordering yet. So I'm going to right click on them and just get rid of the small. Now it won't change anything on the check, this will just be what the server sees on this screen. So cheese and instead of small deluxe I'm going to change that to be just deluxe. Finished. Then I can just take all my toppings here. the grid I want. Right click. Again approximately 100 by 40. The size of the button is just your preference. Put the grid and it'll all be on the screen. Now I've kind of wasted half my screen here so what I can do is take all my full toppings and separate them from my medium toppings. Take this pile now. Move it over. Take my full topping pile kind of put them on top of each other just to separate them a little bit. Move that to the bottom. Now I can take my full toppings and I just want them across the top. Right click on one, put to grid. And I want my half toppings on the other side of it. So I'll drag them over here. Right click on one, put it to grid, and just move my half tomato down a bit. And then line these up a little better. And done. Again, I can put my half toppings underneath my full toppings, beside, or whatever I want. So when I'm done on this screen, I can just right click on it, go finished, then exit from menu setup. 
finished. Now, as you can see, if I go to my basic pizza screen now, no matter how the customer calls and orders it, if they say, can I get a pizza with pineapple, I just start selecting what they want. Uh, double pepperoni, so I go times two um, pepperoni, um, and half ham. Okay, then they can say, well, uh, it's going to be a cheese pizza, and what size? Well, how much is a small? So I click on small. It's going to show me on a, at the top here, currently on the order, it's zero. I'm adding a dollar seventeen in tax and a total of ten sixteen. So my small pizza is going to be ten dollars sixteen. Well, if they say how much for a medium, I just click medium and it would be twelve forty three. When they're ready to order, I can just go place on check. And it verifies that it's right. We'll say yes. And go finished, and it'll be on my check. And that concludes a video on setting up the change size screen.